Hi, I'm David Harabedian, and you are on davidharabedian.com. Welcome and thank you for visiting our website and our webpage. Today we want to give back to you by offering you a free teaching. Matter of fact, there's a lot of free teachings that we're offering. We just have a heart desire to get the word out, to set the captives free, and to equip the saints for the work of ministry. If you don't know Jesus today, I just want to invite you that Jesus was hung up for your hang-ups. He died for you and he was raised from the dead and lives forevermore, interceding in prayer for you. Jesus loves you and it's not by accident that you are here on this site today watching this video. Now I want to share something with you. There's a lesson. Jesus told us to pray. Hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done. Our Father which art in heaven. Think about these words. Our Father which art in heaven. Holy is your name. Thy kingdom come. Bring down heaven's will into the earth. That it might be done in earth, in these vessels, in our earthen domain as it is in heaven. There's no sickness there. There's no torment there. There's no stress. Let me share something with you. We've been given great and exceedingly precious promises from the Lord. And He wants to load us up with His blessings. Psalms even talks about it. Blessed be the Lord who daily loads us with His benefits. If you don't feel overloaded with the benefits of God, I've got an answer right here. Prohibiting and permitting. It is a lesson in blessings and curses. And we're offering it to you for free today. Just download it right off the Download David's Teachings. And I guarantee you, it's going to shift your thinking in some areas, and you're going to get set free. Quick story. In the Garden of Eden, the serpent slithered on in. And he kind of slid right up next to, to Eve. And he began to talk with her. Now, in the original Hebrew, it's interesting. We like to blame the woman for what occurred, but in reality, the man was there. See, women have been given influence, and men have been given authority. But sometimes, influence can be more powerful than authority, and I'll tell you why. Because Eve got deceived by the serpent in the dominion and domain of the garden of her life. Adam was right there and had the sin of omission. He omitted to do something that he should have done, which was order the serpent to leave with his lies. But so often, what happens is, we don't operate in our realm and level of authority that Christ has given to us to cut off the serpent's devices in our lives and in the lives of our loved ones. And what happens is, we end up getting tricked, trapped, or deceived and eating from the wrong tree and end up booted from the garden of life in the presence of God. But God wants to bring us back. God wants us to give us full authority over Satan and every one of his works. And I'll guarantee you, Jesus has destroyed the devil at the cross of Calvary 2,000 years ago. Oh, death, where is your sting? It's been swallowed up in victory. And if you're a believer today, you have divine authority to trample over scorpions and serpents and over all the power of the enemy. Now, the only difference is this. Hosea 4, 6 says, My people, my people, this is God speaking, Hosea 4, 6, my people are destroyed from lack of knowledge. Now, today... I want you to download this teaching. I want to offer this to you so that you're no longer destroyed from lack of knowledge. It took me years to learn this. I want you to get it in a matter of a half an hour setting, sitting down and reading what your inherent promises are in Christ. You've inherited a kingdom, but it's up to you to order the devil to leave the garden of your life. And you have a responsibility, whether male or female, to stand in the gap for your loved ones 
and to order the devil and his devices and his stinking thinking and some of the things that he tries to bring into your home through television and internet and every other thing that might sneak on an iPod and magazine, it's time to draw a line in the sand and say, that's it, that's enough, out of the garden of my life. Prohibiting and Permitting, a lesson in blessings and curses, free download today for you right here at davidherobedian.com. I'm David Herobedian. I love you in Christ. God bless you. Have a great day.